inhale. And you can go in some and more now. that is interesting. Hold that, thanks. Oh, we are going to have an interesting time further up the slope looking at exposures. Okay. Many of the smaller pieces of, of uh, the pebbles and cobble-sized things also look like they have white surfaces covered with a really thin manganese coating here. Oh, that's great, Pilot. Thank you. You're welcome. Pull wide, please, video. Sean, you sense any movement yet? Um, I've had to pick up a couple times, I think. Oh, that's me coming up. Is, uh, uh, no, oh, my sonar. Oh, okay. um, so I think I am moving a little. All right. Good. So the ship move has made it to the seafloor, <laughs> and we're starting to move up the hill. So as, as we move up the hill, now we're going to be making uh, quicker progress across the seafloor. Uh, here we see many, many more pebbles exactly. and cobble-sized. Okay. Oh, good to and know. there Not is, there and is I see something off critter. in the left, too. So let's take this first, and then I'll go get Watch the other one. pilot. Yes. yes. Looks like that rock that we're seeing right in front of us. If you can zoom on that, that yeah, looks like an interesting biologic. All right. Okay, partial zoom. And hold. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a sponge. I forget which kind, but somebody on shore, tell us. Chris or Scott? And some more zoom. Hold that. So I'm at, uh, I'm at a disadvantage today not being at the UHCC, so I have the same delay that everybody else does. So I'm waiting for the, the video to get a little closer. Okay. Okay, you'll see it shortly. So we're waiting for um, Chris Kelly, who is part of okay, the Rolly, University of Hawaii's more. Oceanography Department. Thank and you. as we zoom on this, Sean, I might need he'll be seeing this yep. in about 10 seconds after we begin to zoom. And then he could tell uh, us what it is, uh, I'm so sure, because yeah. this is one of his favorites. Great. Thank you. Yeah, so there's uh, my best guess would be it's some type of a um, Corbitellini, uh, subfamily Corbitellini. It's a vase sponge, but it's got all these sort of projections coming out of the side, and that's quite similar to what we are calling right now in shallower depths Corbitellini new genus. So um, it's not the same clearly, but it's got some similarities. So um, I don't suppose there's a chance to collect, but certainly uh, I understand this is a geology dive, and you want to to get to your top and don't have much time, so no, you know, no big deal. Okay, Watchley, can I pull um, out from this? Uh, yes, thank you, Pilot. Okay, pull wide, please. Uh, Chris, actually, if um, if it's important to collect these, certainly we we can do that. Just let me know, okay? Uh, Shirley has stepped out for a bite to eat. It's lunchtime here on the ship, and we will be having a shift change for the, um, the pilots, co-pilots, the front row folks. Oh, pilot, if we can zoom on this critter, that would be good Shall for a quick do. look. A little bit closer here. All right, folks, we're zooming okay, on video. yet another critter. This is great. Wow. Partial. That's good. Now, this one is different from uh, some of the animals we saw yesterday that have the same form, but had uh, a, a dark orange color. And let's see if we see tube feet. Uh, Pilot, can we get a closer zoom to look for tube yeah, feet on this? Stabilizing. Yeah, we have to get settled a bit so that we can then zoom in. Okay, Rolly and Sean. And determine yep. if this is I indeed a sea star. Slight tilt up. I 